What's up? Today we are checking out coffee flights in the Fox Valley. We're going to be stopping in three different cafes. So we're in Akoka's newly renovated downtown space and the thing about their flight is that it's actually a cold brew flight. You'll find it as the cold brew sampler on their menu. So they have the house cold brew, the nitro cold brew, the Sabal, it's a concentrated coffee and instead of cutting it with water, they cut it with almond milk. And then we have a cold brew float, so there's actually a little scoop of ice cream in here. So. Let's see, I'm gonna give the nitro a shot. Very smooth, love the creamy texture of nitro. And I love Akoka's coffee, they roast their own right in house. And uh, next I'm gonna try this, this cold brew float. Pretty unique. That's awesome, it almost just tastes like a little bit sweeter version of a iced latte. We used to be only a coffee shop, it was Akoka coffee. And over the course of 2020, we expanded and began to remodel and wanted to establish a place where people, after they come in, they feel a little bit better in some way, shape, or form. Whether that is a great cup of coffee, as we'd always been doing, whether that's a new great bite of food with, packed with a lot of flavor, or just some fantastic conversation. We've been roasting coffee in downtown Appleton, we believe, longer than anybody. Um, and with that comes a tremendous amount of knowledge. And we have several, what we would call, consider master roasters, who really know their craft. We've been roasting here in this site for over 20 years now. And our cold brew was developed over six months. It's a unique house blend We're using fair trade organic coffee, so it's a fair trade organic product. And that combination of cold brew and nitro, and then the offshoots that we've talked about here earlier today, just make for a great, great cold brew experience. Cool first stop here at Akoka. See what we got next. So now we're just north in Kimberly, Wisconsin, and another new renovation. We are at Il Bar Coffee House, and we're gonna try one of their flights. So Il Bar, yeah, it sounds kind of funny, but it actually is an Italian name that literally means uh, coffee house. It's kind of a transliteration. Our goal is to kind of intentionally slow time down a little bit. From there, we have a, a a very fun menu that we've created, worked hard on over the last six plus months. There's everything's baked in house here. And then of course we have our amazing coffee flights, our cold coffee flights, and now we have the hot coffee flights, as well as other beverages on available. So we have a hot flight with three coffees and the cold flight with four different options. So I'm gonna try one from each. We have sweet and nutty, which has some caramel and some pistachio uh, in an espresso latte. That is delicious. Super sweet pistachio really comes through. That's a really easy coffee to pound for sure. So on here they write down the different coffees in the flight and they're always changing. So there's always something new here at Ill. So I'm gonna give this autumn spice a shot. So that tastes a lot like a, like a pumpkin cheesecake type flavor. A lot of pumpkin coming through. Super tasty, definitely an awesome thing to try out. On a cool day, they got these heaters out. Definitely an awesome spot for flights, no matter what you're feeling. We got the church bells ringing. Let's head to our final stop in Freedom. So now we're in Freedom, Wisconsin at Bees Brew. We're gonna try a cold flight and a hot flight. Hi, 
Every month we have three different variations or you can customize your own and then we kind of switch out with our seasonal flavors. So variation one is very just straight coffee if you don't like a lot of sweetness and then our variation two is our seasonal and then variation three we do um, our different chais and then so those who don't like coffee still have an option. Our coffee comes from Kansas City. We're the first people in Wisconsin to bring messenger coffee to Wisconsin. They have a lot of farm direct programs, so they worked with farms directly, guaranteeing that they're going to buy those coffee beans from them each year, so that farmers has a secure business for them. So from their seasonal flight, I'm gonna try this caramel apple. That is awesome. So it's cold and it's got this nice little sweetness and it does kind of taste like apple. The caramel comes through very much so stronger than the apple, which obviously lends itself nicely to the coffee. Very good coffee here. Now I'm gonna give just a regular latte a shot from the hot flight. It's a very smooth espresso, super tasty. I love the aesthetic of this whole place. I love the aesthetic of the flights. Super fun, and they give you the option to build your own. So this has been a super fun day. All these stops were just far enough spread apart. They're about 15 to 20 minutes apart, and all super close to home if you live in Green Bay or the Fox Valley. Definitely a fun little tour if you're looking for something to do over a weekend. Coffee flights in the Fox Valley. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Evan Frymuth, please make the most of your day. The greatest adventure still lies ahead.